hi guys welcome back um yeah i brushed this um in and young um coaster mold and i'm quite happy with this so far um it's matching hang on let me get my my little dryer Um, I wanted I wanted it to match with this one in colors. I don't know what happened here. I guess something fell into my resin. I didn't recognize this and then it yeah fell to the bottom. But never mind. I still think it's very, very pretty. I'm really happy with this one. And yeah, I wanted the um, matching coasters. And what I'm going to do, because um, the tray is the geode form, I first um, painted, of course, the yin and yang flowers, um, sunflowers, <laughs> purple sunflowers, in um, this mold. And now I'm going to give it a, a very thin um, clear layer. And after this, um, once this is hardened, I take this out and I'm expecting um, from Mold and Shapes the Geoda um, coaster mold. So I will, um, or I'm gonna place um, a green um, layer in the Geoda form and then place the um, once this is also hardened I, I place um, these yin and yang um, coasters thin coasters on top and I will finish this off with a heat resistant resin so you can put a cup of um, tea on there um, mold and shapes uh, mold and shapes, sorry. <laughs> mold and shapes are for the um, molds, of course. Um, Resin Pro has this heat resistant resin, and um, I use this nowadays for the top layers, and it's heat resistant up to 200 degrees. So this will be nice, and this is my plan. Okay. Um, I will see that I pour like, like, 30 grams every time into my cup. I want um, the thickness rather the same. And I hope um, also with the clear to achieve a little bit of a depth into these um, coasters. So let me go with the first one. Ah, and let me also spray them. With the alcohol in uh, alcohol yeah I hope that I soon have the time now it's spraying to get a better spray bottle I also need to buy more of the pure alcohol but I think this will do um yeah and i just pour the clear on just for a really really thin layer maybe 30 grams too much i'm not sure but i also need to fill the edges because there is a little, um, how do you say, a groove. So, I guess this will be fine. Yes. So I let this settle for a bit and then pop bubbles again. And I'm doing this with all of them. I think you don't need to um, see how I'm 
um, placing clear resin on top. Um, I, I'm back to you when I unmold them and when I put my, my colored resin into the geode forms. Kidoki. Um, I only wanted to explain to you and let you see what I'm doing and see you in a bit once I hopefully today um, receive my geode mold. <laughs> Thank you for watching so far. Bye bye. Hi guys, I'm quickly back. I just wanted to um, because I, I forgot to tell you what colors I used um, because I had my other video in my head. So I used, anyway, I brushed with this brush. It's a makeup brush. I used here um, the Twinkling Silver from Petra Jungblut. Then I used um, for the other one, this is the Ying and that's the Yang or vice versa, I have no idea. Um, I used the Black Magic also for inside, but inside I blended um, with the green and a tiny bit with the purple. Um, yeah, the flowers are the Passion Purple and the leaves, they are the seaweed. And in here I just brushed this, um, the it's a purple passion. I always say passion purple, I guess. And and the seaweed. And I made my top layer with the um, black magic. They keep on coming bubbles up. So I need to, um, yeah, I, I torch also a little bit. I must admit, I should not do this because these molds are, but, well, but I guess there will be still some um, air bubbles trapped in, at the end. But remember, I wanted to do a top layer, a top coat, and so it will be fine. Um, I guess you won't see the bubbles later. But you see here, they keep on raising, so I will try to keep on torching to, to get rid of them. But so far, I'm quite happy, and my um, mold is filled maybe by a third maybe a little bit more than a third. So yeah, I hope to, to achieve um, really a little bit depth, you know, when I put my green into um, the other mold. But I will see. <laughs> okay, I love and leave you. And I can tell you, I received my parcel from Mold and Shapes. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Hi guys, I'm back. So I will take these out of the mold. Um, very carefully because um, it's only a very small or very thin layer of clear. Yeah, they are still a little bit bendy, but I don't mind in fact. Uh, yeah, um, let me get a glove and just over here bend this. Um, because of the clear, you cannot really see the sparkle. This is actually the bottom and this is the top. They look much sparkly on that side. So, yeah. But this is a correct side, yes, with the grooves. But what do you think of them? I think they look awesome. So, yeah, let me get them out. There was a hair. Very, very careful. 
because I want to use this mold more. I, I just I like like very very much or I love this um, yin and yang pattern. Again, let me just flatten it again. And also here, I'm getting better with the holes. There are still a few, but I'm quite happy. They are not too, too much. So getting this one out. Oh, here are a few more. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I should not say I, I get better with this because there are some. But I like the, I really like the color combo. Um, yeah, I just press it down with a piece of my glove. And the last one. So you see it's, it's really a thin layer of resin I put on top. So, yeah, but I'm really doubting on how to use them that way, because it's also awesome, or the other way, huh? Because I also want to make a top layer, so... I need to see. I, I really need to see how, how I'm doing this because remember, I said, um, yeah, of course you remember, it's only a second for you. I unmount the keychain in a bit. I received this mold yesterday from Molded Shapes and I want to, um, I want to put green around the edges and then let it cure. Put these on top and um, then I want to make a thin um, heat resistant layer on top. So I'm really very curious how these will turn out and if it, if it will have the effect I, I like to have. Yeah. So for now, um, ah, yeah, my see my color is almost all into my my coasters. Let me just get this little keen chain out. Uh, yeah, it's also still a little bit bendy, but look at this awesome color. You see the green and and the purple. Really like this. I like these little features a lot, so it's really a nice bonus. And it was a good idea from Modern Shapes to to place them into their molds. Yeah, first when I saw these the very first time, I, I was not sure what it was for, but now I know. And even you can use this if you close this hole. Okay, maybe a little bit of your pattern is gone, but you could use it sort of as a center of a mold. So this is something I want to try as well. Yeah, okay, like I said, maybe this part won't be 100%, but it's worth a try to see um, how it's looking. Okay, for now, I love and leave you and See you when I um, pull my green into the other mold. Bye bye. Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> so um, I mixed up some resin and I'm gonna fill my mold. It's um, one centimeter deep. Yeah, let me get my hands into the gloves. Hey, 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 yes, I'm there. <laughs> um, 
yeah as i said to you i want to um, make a layer now in just in in the green and um, i want to put these later on top and then fill it up with with clear resin so i'm really curious how this is going to work and how it's going to look because i wanted like um my my little trayer i want um yeah this geode shaped um design and it's also something new so so we have the yin and yang not only in the round coaster anyway um i use the seaweed again this dark green from petra Jungblut. and let me get go with quite a big scoop maybe a tiny bit more i love this green color Okay, some people say it's quite dark, but I think it's it's an awesome color. Let me mix this up. I wait, uh, or I'm using 160 grams of resin, so I guess I will be sorted. Um, let me just get my little torch. Hang on. So I can continue here, but um, I need to give it a good stir, but it's quite opaque as you can see. I really, really hope it will work out what I'm planning to do, because it's a lot of effort <laughs> and also quite a bit of resin for sure. It's all right. I guess the mica is proper in there, and they're still very tight. Those those gloves. Let me just so that's better. Let me just um, pour this. Like I said, I don't want it to be a too big layer. Also here. So my um, yin and yang also fits in there. It's just an idea I had. And I hope it will work. Some more. Yes, this has a little bit more than the others, I'm not sure, but let me take my stick, there's not much left in my cup, but let me just get to the edges. I really like this green a lot. Yeah, my, my clear top will be, as I said, with um, heat-resistant heat resin. And um, so you can put also a cup on there. I guess the green also gives um, those round coasters a quite nice background. Yeah. Filled in. Still a little bit left, so let me just spread this amongst those. Okay. 
like so. And yeah, this is my resin gone. Please don't mind the noise in the background, but my boyfriend is installing something upstairs. <laughs> um, yeah, quick torch, but very carefully not to burn the mold. Just to pop some bubbles as they arrive, um, appear. I guess I will be doing this for quite a while. And let me just get one of those front coasters and see if there's already a sort of contrast. I may not let it fall in. Yeah, I guess it will look awesome. Um, here on the back side there's a tiny incy lip so when they are not completely cured I will try to push them a little bit deeper in so um, that I won't get any air bubbles from from the slip I hope it will work <laughs> fingers crossed but yeah anyway um, See you in a bit when I'm pushing my coasters down into the green. Okie dokie. See you then. Bye bye. Hi guys, I'm back. So, um, I didn't film this, but yesterday evening, just before I went to bed, I guess it was around about maybe um, six or seven hours after the green pour, I placed um, these very thin round um, coasters in this mold and they are now completely fixed. I was doubting um, which side to use and I found that the actually on the coaster the top side um, look better because you can see the sparkle of this black magic so i thought i go with this um anyway um i will put my clear on top and we will see what i can achieve i'm really curious how this project ends up um, here it seems to be that the um, green gives a little bit more um, of a color um, background. It could be because there was a little lip underneath. Maybe I should have sanded it, but it's a tryout. And I mean, it's all handmade and it, it cannot be always 100% perfect. And it's also about giving ideas. So, um, this is my heat resistant resin. I will, um, I let it sit for around about 10 minutes, but now I get the wriggle on. I want to measure um, 60 grams for each coaster because they are quite big um, coasters. Oh, this is even too much. A little bit back. 64 yeah 64 will be fine because a little bit will be left inside so let me just pour this on top um, to be fully able to use this um, as a heat resistant coaster um, it takes up to a month And then it should be fine to put your hot cup, cup of coffee on, on top. See, it's five grams, so it was good that I um, left a little bit more, but now it should be exactly 60. 
because I want them roughly to be the same. Just a tiny bit less. Is it 60? Well, 62. Well, you cannot have it 100%. And also here. I'm really, really curious how they will end up looking at the end. But you can already see there's depth in those coasters. Um, the yin and yang. Hang on, let me get a baby wipe. Um, it's my almost last from this package. The yin and yang um, pattern lies really deep. I noticed that, that they uh, moved a little bit after I placed them. Sorry again, the coffee machine. Um, so they are not 100% in the center, but still I, I like the idea. Coasters are already pretty full, which is good, so I measured correctly, which I'm glad about because the heat resistant resin is not so cheap. It's um, heat resistant up to 200 degrees. And yeah, let me have a look. This can have a tiny bit more. And let me get the last one. After this, I will torch. No, no, no. Do I get 60 here? Yes. Thank God. <laughs> I just thought, did, did I really measure correctly? But I did. Thank God. I like this, um, these molds a lot. Um, what's good for, for um, pores like this, that they are so deep, when they are thinner, you, you have a problem to, to, yeah, to do it like this, but I think it's, it's really nice. Just a tiny bit more. I guess they are all pretty filled up, which is good. A little bit more here and I will give them very soon a good torch. There's still a little bit of resin in my my container so I may use it up. to see that I'm not doing that they are not overflowing but I think just this little bit they can still have so I don't need to set an edge or whatsoever yeah let me clean my gloss and I guess I'm gonna take my gloss off for the torching I mean, you can still see the circle of the coaster, but in fact, I don't mind. So just quick torch here, pop the bubbles. It has not too much bubbles, the seat resistant resin. It's really awesome.
Okay. Um, yeah, let me take you down for a closer so you can see what I've done. Like I said, I'm not always right into the center, but what do you think, guys? I love, love, love the depths. There's a lot of depths, but I don't know if you can see this from the video. Maybe you can also see the doming, which is very nice. So no sanding. And yeah, see there? That the one is a little bit darker. I think that I um, pushed this one a little bit deeper. So maybe the next time I have to do it on the video. Actually, it looks not silver, the bottom um, one. <laughs> it looks more beige, but it's silver. And I think later on the picture you will be able to see this. Okie dokie. I love and leave you. I keep torching and fingers crossed for a wonderful result. This is my second project in these colors. There will be another one coming up in the next days because I want to make it a set with, with the colors, with the pattern. So yeah. See you then for the great unmolding. Bye bye. Hello, unmolding time. So I'm really curious how that turned out. <laughs> well, I guess on the back you cannot see much, but you know, I want them out of the mold. Um, hang on, let me just get into my glove. <laughs> I'm in there and um, let me also get my tray. Hang on a second. As you may remember, this is my tray. So and these will be my matching coasters. So um, the tray I want to use as a sort of um, candle holder. And yeah, let me just get them out. Wow. Um, yeah, my, <laughs> my layer, um, you can see my clear layer is a little bit thick because I, I didn't know how to um, um, I didn't then press my my um, my round coaster too much into my green resin because I just didn't want that the um, resin would just overflow my my nice pattern but what do you think they will be really heat resistant, so you can place a nice mug on there. But um, it will be like like um, four weeks till um, they are completely cured. What I'm proud of, I don't have any um, bubble and they don't have a lip. This is brilliant. But look, I mean, bubble at the side. I have a few bubbles um, around here, but I think you, you don't really notice this. And yeah, I really like it. Um, the third one. And these coasters, they have a really depth. Okay, you see a little bit the ring, 
but it's yeah amazing the green lies really deeply in there and they are very pretty and the last one so no sanding except from and i show you um this one i overflowed it just a tiny bit so maybe i can peel this off i will have a look later but look at them they're really nice um, let me get my mold away and this little bit and let me just place them here for you to have a look i'm really really very happy with them and my matching sort of candle holder okay i love and leave you and yeah i wonder what you think and uh i'm looking forward to receive some comments and yeah i see you for my next video take care and bye bye